Lexi Romano with Phoenix Finds. I have another fantastic five minute find for you. But before we get into the questions, make sure that you like, subscribe, and follow me here on Phoenix Finds so that you can stay updated on all of the latest five minute finds. I'm so excited for today's episode. I am chatting with Sue from Vi Talent. Sue, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me on your show. Absolutely, this is gonna be fantastic. I'm so excited to hear about Vitalent. Will you tell me a little bit about it? Well, Vitalent is the nation's largest independent blood provider. We serve across the country more than 1,000 hospitals in 40 states. And locally, we're Arizona's largest blood provider, serving 100% of the blood needs for 62 hospitals. That's 11 out of 15 counties that we supply 100% of the blood needs. So when people come and donate blood with Vitalent, they're helping to ensure that blood's there for them or a loved one should they find themselves needing a life-saving transfusion. So Sue, tell me a little bit about why it's so important for the blood supply right now during the year, but also right now with what's going on with COVID. Why is it so important right now? Well, you know, summer is always a challenging time for the blood supply because so many of our regular donors are on vacation. But this year has been especially challenging because of COVID-19. Since March 1st, we've had to cancel 566 blood drives, which resulted in a loss of more than 17,000 blood donations. And that's just in Arizona. Um, on May 1st is when the elective surgeries resumed. And so we were already low in blood supply and then all of the sudden uh, needs increased by about 25% when elective surgeries were resumed. Now we're looking forward to the 4th of July holiday weekend. It's the lowest week of the summer for blood donations because of all the people who leave town uh, and have family activities over the, the 4th of July holiday week. It's just not a time when donating blood is at the forefront of people's minds. Uh, so we have planned Arizona's largest blood drive that's going to be sent Monday, July 5th at the Tempe Center for the Arts, and it's from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and we're hoping that we get more than 500 people to donate, but it's our biggest effort to try to make sure that patients have the life-saving transfusions they need. Okay, so July 5th, that is fantastic. We will be looking forward to that day, but you guys are doing something really cool right now during this COVID time. You're also doing antibody testing when people donate. That's something that's very exciting that Vitalant launched on June 1st. We began testing every single successful blood donation for COVID-19 antibodies. Now I wanna clarify that this is different than a test for the disease. If somebody is feeling sick, they cannot donate blood. So we don't want people who suspect they may have COVID-19 uh, to come and volunteer to donate to try to get a test. But the the antibody test is something that's performed on people after they've recovered uh, because they may have valuable antibodies. It's a great way to find out if maybe you had COVID-19 previously and have since recovered, and you might even be a candidate to give convalescent plasma, which is uh, that life-saving uh, antibody treatment for some of the most gravely ill patients that are in the hospitals. That is fantastic work. I, I, we appreciate that you guys are doing that. I also want to point out that you said, if people are feeling sick, please don't come down, don't give blood, but what else are you guys doing right now to keep people safe? I mean, are you wearing gloves? Are you wearing masks? Are you requiring that people who come wear masks? So if you're feeling well and healthy and you think you might meet the qualifications to donate blood, then uh, make an appointment at vitalent.org uh, to give at a donor center or a blood drive. What happens when you arrive is the first thing, make sure that you are well hydrated, that you've you know, been really focusing on the amount of water you're drinking and, and, and that you've eaten. Uh, you don't want to give blood on an empty stomach. When you arrive, then the first precaution that we take is that we take your temperature before you enter our facility. Uh, then all of our staff are wearing masks. Uh, donors are required to bring and wear masks during the entire process. Uh, we maintain social distancing between all of the donors, so nobody's less than six feet away from another donor. Our staff are wearing gloves whenever they're in contact with the donors. We're doing everything we need to do to make sure that it's safe for people to give blood. How do they find you? Do you have a website? Can they sign up somewhere? 
So to make an appointment with Vitalant, just go to vitalant.org. That's spelled V like in Victor, I-T-A-L-A-N-T dot org. And then all of our, our special locations and, and landing pages are all an extension of that. So if you'd like to make an appointment, go to vitalant.org, click on make an appointment. If you'd like to give it the Saving Arizona Blood Drive on Sunday, July 5th, uh, simply go to vitalant.org slash save AZ and you'll go to the landing page for the event. And I have to add, we have some wonderful sponsors for that event that are thanking donors. Whataburger is gonna give everybody a voucher for a free burger. And uh, the Arizona Coyotes are giving every donor at Saving Arizona a voucher for a free ticket for a future designated game. So that's very exciting. And that's in addition to the uh, COVID-19 antibody test that we'll be doing all summer long. And by the way, if people want more information about our COVID-19 antibody test, again, just go to vitalent.org, but slash antibody test and you can read up all about that and find out more information um, and so it's super simple uh, for all of our uh, handles for Facebook and things like that we're Vitalant Arizona on Facebook we are at Vitalant AZ on Instagram and Twitter so we're easy to find we're just looking to connect with more people fantastic oh I love that and oh my gosh if I wasn't gonna already be there what a burger is going to be there. I will definitely be there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that sounds so great. Sue, thank you so much for all of this wonderful information. I hope I get to see you July 5th at the Blood Drive. And everyone watching, I hope I see you there as well. Have a great day. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you so much. You know, the critical times for the blood supplier, anytime we get close to a holiday, sure. 